the depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. All right, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Friday's Feast. Today, we're outside of Ma's Columbia Street Food out in Portland, Maine. We're about to go inside, get our grub on, get our beasting and feasting on. So I'll see you guys inside. All right, so I actually decided to eat outside uh, because they are playing some music in there. Um, I actually decided to get a combination of pork and chicken uh, basa, I think it's called. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll leave it down below, uh, down here somewhere at the bottom, which one I ended up getting. And then I got the coconut limeade polar, so. I've uh, never had this before. I'm pretty excited about it. So uh, right now we're just waiting on the food. So I will see you guys when it gets here. This looks amazing. This looks amazing. Look at that. Uh, I got the cilantro lime sauce. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go ahead and try it without it. Got my coconut sparkling lime aid. Never was really a big fan of uh, seltzer water. And they got a lot of beer in there. Can't drink because I'm still on the job. So let's, let's dive in. This got chicken and pork in it. So. I thought it was gonna have some type of of a kick to it, some type of heat factor, but I don't really sense any of that. I don't know, just like, I don't really taste any seasoning really besides like the cilantro and this outer part here almost reminds me of uh, pupusa which I'm not really the biggest fan of but Overall, this is pretty good. Um, would I like it to have more seasoning on it? Yes, definitely. Um, I think this cost me like, I think on the board for like the regular version with just pork or chicken, it would be like 12 bucks or $13. Try this cilantro with cilantro oil sauce. But look at that. There's a lot of food. Mm. That's okay. Oh, this meat is stuck in my teeth now, though. 
I mean, I wish the meat had more flavor, but as far as like seasoning, I mean, it definitely tastes like pork. And I didn't really get down to the chicken yet. I only got like a little, little bit. There's definitely a lot of juice coming out of there. They had a garlic sauce or something on the menu, but it said it had raw eggs in it. Yeah, can't be dealing with that when I'm at work. Nice little bay leaf. There's some cheese down at the bottom. That's pretty good. Very, very greasy, very juicy. I don't know if I would've got this much meat if I didn't ask for the, uh, if I didn't tell the guy to just choose for me. So he put chicken and beef I mean, uh, chicken and pork. I wish they had like a Coke or something to wash it down with, or even juice. I would have been okay with juice. meat is really tender it like falls apart the pork just just disintegrates I would have loved to have more onions and tomatoes on the inside, but what are you gonna do, you know? And I chose to sit outside because they're playing a lot of loud music in there. And I don't really feel like editing all that out.
lots and lots of cheese down at the bottom. I don't remember how much I paid for this. I have to dig out the receipt, but I think it was like 15 bucks or something <coughs> for the deluxe. And I'm not sure if it's more than one different kind of cheese. But as you can see right there, there's a, a whiter cheese than what's in here. It's almost like a feta or something. Yeah, I'm not sure what kind of cheese that is. All right, last solid bite right here. And I got some cleaning up to do over here. Not bad. It wasn't my favorite though. Add a little bit of tomato. All right, let me get cleaned up here. All right, so all in all, the meat was very tender, very juicy. Um, the pork tastes like pork, the chicken tastes like chicken. 
didn't really taste like there was any like super distinct seasonings that I could taste. I mean, obviously it was seasoned, but it was just like, it wasn't nothing like pow or like anything that like jumped out at me. But, uh, let me see. So I paid almost sixteen dollars for that with the uh, with the coconut seltzer water. Um, do I think it's a lot of food for the price? It was decent. Um, like I said, the I would have loved to taste, you know, maybe some more lime in there, um, like more fresh vegetables. It was good. It was definitely good. Would I come here again? Yeah. Uh, would I probably order that again? Probably not. Um, you know, out of five, I'd probably give that like, probably like a two star. It didn't really like super impress me. It wasn't like, you know, for the price, I would, I would expect something more, more flavor. You know, it was very like mild and and uh, mellowed out flavors. It was like, I mean, you could really taste that the pork tastes like pork and the chicken tastes like chicken. One of the big downsides is like the outside tastes a lot like what they make pupusas with. And it's not my favorite. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's like corn, but it's like a thicker, I don't know. It's like a, th a thicker version of taco or something. I'm not sure, but yeah all in all i'd probably give it like a two stars two and a half stars uh i really wish it was better because i was really looking forward to this food and uh i drove around the block uh twice to find parking uh, parking on this road as you guys can hear the traffic whizzing by uh traffic on this road is crazy and parking is very very limited i was able to get parking across the street at the Walgreens um, so if you look around there's very little to park but that's all for today's Friday's Feast I do appreciate you guys watching make sure you guys smash that like button leave a comment down below subscribe hit that notification bell and I will see you guys on the next video later